Welcome back to CBS News. I'm Lana Zak. And I'm Errol Barnett. Good to be with you today, yes. Lana. Yes, happy pre-Thanksgiving. Yep. And the same to you and everyone watching. Here's a quick recap of the top stories we're following for you right now. Today is expected to be the most heavily traveled day on the roads this year as millions of people head to their Thanksgiving destinations. Record numbers of people are flying this holiday weekend. Rain and even some snow hampered travel on the East Coast earlier in the week, but good news is weather is clear across most of the country. Ceremonies are scheduled in Dallas, Washington, D.C., and in Massachusetts today to mark 60 years since the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. President Biden released a statement calling the shooting a defining moment of deep trauma and loss that shocked the soul of our nation. A temporary ceasefire between Israel and Hamas is expected to go into effect at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, at local time, 3 a.m. Eastern. At least 50 hostages held by Hamas and 150 Palestinian detainees in Israel are expected to be released in stages over a four-day period. Raphael Cohen joins us now to talk more about the hostage deal. He's a senior political scientist with RAND Project Air Force. Uh, so, Raphael, talk to us about why it's significant that a deal has been reached at this point in the war. Great. Well, first off, thank you for having me on. Uh, let's start off.